Tika Intini Wurda in Oromia region, Ethiopia, is a highland area which experiences a dry season which lasts for roughly nine months each year. During the dry season, rain-fed streams and hand-dug wells dry up, leaving communities without access to nearby water. In many ways, Kocheri village, which is located in Tiko and Chini Wurda, is typical of the area, with local residents facing a daily battle to secure water. A Babu Gardisa, a resident from the village, explains the water challenges she and her community face. Bishani yero waramnu asira demne ba ye demne waramna yero ganna ganna lamba toko kuno birim wata kasi bolla kota ni wati fa yada muni jira garumo yero bona mo ba ye rakani ra bishani juru fagora demne tu demne ba ye kilometra meka demne waramna durati amma mo garu yero oke sati waga toko asi asiti bishani namma kuno ba garumo bishani chumti yu kan kenya miti kani gamati kani dobra ti chuda amma sa yu inchovna ye chajuru amma yero amma ke sati Tentu bishan amne rakat cair raba ye, amma kana demne waram naran demba kana bane tu, isuman imo ibe wana deda enam mo waram negal cine inum tu kul kulina kamu bishan kul kulina kamu narganu, garu inum tu mo ibe ensaba ye dah garake sa wana deda, kana ka maga meba wana deda kana kesa namu taba ye kabajra, kana ka tay for di mina meni wak awana deda kabajra, kana fura kini bishan iba ye nutu kurun namera. However, while Kocheri village is typical of water-scarce areas of Ethiopia, it is also blessed with a natural resource which has the power to help local communities store and manage their water resources – bamboo. <laughs> Local highland bamboo, Yusufana alpina, grows widely in Ethiopia, as well as in many water-stressed East African countries. The plant, which grows to its full height within three months and matures for harvest after three to four years, is an excellent construction material. Now, with help from the International Network for Bamboo and Rattan, Imbar, the community of Kacheri has learnt how to build a rainwater harvesting system to store and filter water using its local bamboo resources. This project, funded by Environment Canada, has helped bring experts together from Canada, Nepal and Ethiopia to transfer modern bamboo treatment and construction technologies to the community. The community has also learned how to treat water using biosand filters, which are made from locally sourced sand and gravel. The use of local materials has helped reduce the cost of producing 5,000 litre capacity storage tanks by up to half compared with concrete and plastic alternatives. This has the potential to dramatically increase water access in the area. Before this, we know with concrete and burnt heavy materials for construction. But this is from local available material, especially for, uh, from bamboo tree. It's uh, very nice and it's uh, easy, cost effective. Oh, it is uh, amazing. In the following series of short films, we will now show you each step involved in building these bamboo water storage tanks and biosand filters, thereby allowing you to replicate the process in your own community. The videos are intended as a supplement to Imbar's Working Paper 72 publication, Transporting, Storing and Filtering Water Using Local Resources, a design manual.
This is available as a free PDF from the web page on your screen. Thank you for watching and we hope the video will prove useful for your own projects. Thank you.